Hey everyone, Supremacist here, and in today's video, as you guys can see by the title, I'm going to be explaining why I don't play or upload Rainbow Six Siege recently. The game of Rainbow Six Siege has bring has brought me a lot of enjoyment in my life. I joined one of the top clans in Australia. I played an ESL and we won two Go Fours. I won money playing this video game, and multiple other reasons of why Siege brings me enjoyment in my life. The reason why I haven't been uploading this vi this content on Rainbow Six Siege is because of one reason and one reason only. It is because I have burnt myself out. I burnt myself out by playing this video game because I played it so much and I used it as an outlet to my emotions. Now a big reason and something major happened in my life on September 6, 2017 was when my best friend died. Um, I used to play Rainbow Six, Ark, every other game underneath the sun with him. And Rainbow Six Siege was a major game for us, you know, we played it all the time together. And um, I haven't really been brought, I haven't really been able to bring myself to play Ark, which is like, you know, the, the dinosaur survival game. The game's really fun, I love that game. Uh, me and him used to play all the time. And I just can't bring myself to play that. So I used Siege as an outlet as an outlet for my emotions and for everything that I wanted to do on Siege. And so sitting here and playing Siege and using it as an outlet, even when I was, you know, bored and I didn't even want to play this game, I played it. And then all of a sudden, Fortnite came out. And I started playing Fortnite more and more often and I started uploading less and less and less. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I used to be a Black Ops 2 kid. The first ever shooter that I really got into was Black Ops 2, and that game brings me a lot of good memories, and um, Fortnite brings those memories back in a weird way. Fortnite reminds me of those late nights that you stay up with your friends playing video games all night, and um, you know, actually having a good time and being able to mess around on a game like that. Fortnite brings back those memories for me and they bring back the memories of being able to play a video game and even when you lose, have a good time. Um, Rainbow Six Siege just doesn't do that for me anymore. Rainbow Six is like a game where I have to win all the time and I have to play good all the time and I always have to perform, otherwise I'm going to be smack talked by some 12 year old kid on the other side. Um, the, you know, the little things like that about Rainbow Six Siege, especially in the APEC area, just frustrate me. And I'm going to have a transition from Rainbow Six Siege to... So, uh, long story short, fellas, is that I actually sit here and I tell you guys that I am transitioning over to Fortnite. I don't actually go ahead and say that because the audio doesn't want to be my friend today. So, what I'm actually going to go ahead and do is have this <laughs> voice over over my video while you guys see me get all these bunch of kills and stuff like that. What I move on to explain in this video while I'm actually making a live commentary is saying how bad I am because this is actually my third game on and I'm extremely rusty because I cannot aim whatsoever because I also jarred my thumb which is on my right hand which is my aiming thumb because you know I actually use a controller on console. How funny is that? Um, well long story short boys is that making this live commentary as you guys can see I explain how I want to make my videos on Fortnite because not most of my games I don't really get a win out of. It. And most of the time I drop like seven or eight kills and I end up dying because you know me your boy drops tilted towers almost every single game so Long story short, boys, is that as you guys can see the gameplay right now, it is extremely sloppy, it's not at my best, but I can still get a W out of it, and I can still get 11 kills by the end of this video, finishing with a rocket kill. So if you guys do want to stick around with it for that kill cam, which I'm going to be using the replay mode to do, uh, stick around, boys. It'll be fun, it'll be, uh, it'll be a good time. Honestly, just then I started blabbering on about things because I forgot what I was talking about in the video. But long story short, fellas, is that I was talking about how sad the music was and how I don't want the music to be sad in this um, part of the video because, you know, Fortnite is like the savior here in this video. So, um, 
as I sit here and I explain to you guys that Fortnite is fun. Fortnite reminds me of the nights where I used to play on Call of Duty, where, you know, even if you didn't lose, or even if you didn't win, sorry, every single game, that you could still have fun. You know, you could play like Search and Destroy and Troll Kids, you can do the exact same in Fortnite, because 95% of the time, you end up dying, and it's like, it's not something that it's like, I guess it's like a natural thing within Fortnite, where it's like something along the lines of like, even if you die, it's okay, because no one's going to judge you because you couldn't aim or something because most of these kids just do a dance and they keep running on otherwise they die like three seconds earlier and it's really funny because you find it funny because they're dancing because they killed you and they get sniped or something so let me take a big breath and talk about this again dude um <laughs> As you guys can see by the gameplay, I'm pretty sloppy. I'll be honest. I am extremely sloppy in this gameplay, but I do get a couple good kills on some noobs that I have that have no idea that I'm in a tower just next to them, like that kid that you saw that I just killed. As you guys can see, I want to be more hyperactive in my videos. I want to be me. I want to be more of me in my videos because it's what, like, people want. I don't, I don't want you guys listening to boring old me and me sitting here and just yabbering on about, like, how to get better at Fortnite and stuff. I want to sit here and I want to talk to you guys the way that I would talk to you guys if I met you guys in real life. Like, I want you guys to know the real me. I want you guys to see how bad I am at freaking building and, like, stuff like that, you know? Like, learn who I am as a person and see that these kids over here were double teaming in solos and I was also explaining that dude there's so much going on in this video right now it is insane it started off sad and now it's starting off happy um but as you guys can see Fortnite and as you guys can tell by the sound of my voice Fortnite is 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 amazing it is one of the games where you can play and play and play and still not get bored of it if you don't get a W that day and as soon as you get a dub you jump off for the night and you're happy you know you, you're off a win or you keep playing and you get like you know two in a row and it brings back that that sense of like, oh, oh my god, I can't believe I just won. Like, sometimes it is really hard to win. Like, there's some really good players out there. And that's what makes Fortnite, like, this insane game where you just want to keep playing and stuff like that. But real talk, boys, I don't want to go ahead and go away from the point why I'm actually making this video. Is that Siege just is not cutting it for me anymore, boys. And I expect that you guys to... I guess like come along with me because if you guys are really my subscribers and if you guys are really here for me then you guys would you know you guys would understand and I'm guessing that most of you guys play Fortnite because since the new meta since Siege has been like this like confusing game with this you know this new ability that is like overpowered and there's no counter to it like what can you do besides kill him while he's standing still he can just activate this thing from outside but um long story short boys is that Fortnite is is skill based like you have to be good at building you have to be good at winning gunfights you have to be able to aim you have to be able to shoot you have to be able to jump at the same time especially if you use a controller and console and um i am really running out of things to say <laughs> uh but long story short boys is that I want you guys to get the know to get to know the real me. I want to just be able to upload Fortnite moments, whether they're funny, whether they're angry, whether it's me raging, whether it's me crying or something, you know. It is important to me that you guys learn that side of me since I'm growing more and more on YouTube every day. Um I know I haven't been uploading and I know that, that is a big issue for you guys and I apologize. I want to be able to upload more. I want to be able to upload daily and be wanting to be able to upload, but the only thing preventing me from doing that is because I thought to myself what are my viewers going to want to see? They want to see wins. They want to see high kill games, right? They don't want to see my spastic building, as you guys can see here. Like, I feel like an idiot is what I'm trying to say, you know? Um, long story short, fellas, is that I want to make content for you guys that you guys enjoy. And I don't want that content to be my gameplay. I realized how hard that that is. I realized that, you know, coming off like... A bunch of kills and a bunch of wins is hard every day. I want to be able just to make a video and do things like this where like I'm just messing around and I'm making voiceovers over a win. Otherwise, if it's not a win, it's just something funny that happened or something. So long story short, fellas, I just want to be able to make content. That is my goal. I want to be able to make content for you guys to watch. And I know that with my gameplay, it is also good as well. That's what I'm trying to get at. Like I, I can play Fortnite, like Fortnite is this game where like I can just build, I can outbuild John Wicks and stuff. I feel like a John Wick sometimes, or I feel like Ninja and stuff like that. And as you guys are about to see the replay of that rocket launcher victory royale, the most newbiest kill that you guys will ever see on my channel, I think. But uh, yeah, here's the replay, boys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, 
I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking by my side. You guys mean the absolute world to me. And um, me being myself, I've kind of like had an epiphany of that. I need to start doing better, boys. I need to start being myself on YouTube, and that is what you guys want. You guys want to be someone, and you want to look up to someone, and that is who I want to be. That is who I envy to be. So thank you guys so much yet again. You guys mean the absolute world to me. All of you guys mean everything to me. And um, with that being said, and with that out of the way, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. There will be one up tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.